everybody, Herptrop, I'm Walrus, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is my favorite game of all time, and I am excited to bring it to you here on my channel. I got everything accounted for so I can make this the best possible Let's Play I can make it. So, without further ado, I'll explain more as we get in, but for now, we should, we should just start off the game, shall we? So the game starts at Donkey Kong's birthday. Or Dixie Kong's birthday. Or Diddy Kong's birthday. Not Cranky Kong, his initials don't match. Just kidding, it's definitely Donkey Kong. Because <laughs> as you'll see in a bit, he's about to blow out the candle. Of the banana cake with banana topping. Banana sprinkles. Banana juice. Very banana. You know he likes them. I do too. I love bananas. Bananas are delicious. As we're introduced to the villains of this game, known as the Snowmads. They're scoping out the place immediately, and they find the Kongs. The Kongs are apparently well known. They know about them. And they actually do the smarter thing here. Rather than storming the island themselves and losing immediately, they stay out in the water, prepare their little ceremony, And this handsome gentleman here blows his horn. I love this. I love the snowman's theme. It's really good. See, he's about to blow up the candle, so he, he, it is probably his birthday. Poor Donkey Kong. Oh, I just noticed that little banner that says Kong. And this ice dragon blows them away from their own island. Really, really competent enemies for whatever reason. So, as you can probably tell, the game is taking you away from DK Island. So, where are we going to be starting, you wonder? Well, that'll come up in a bit. And as they're off the island, they completely freeze and take it over while landing on the volcano. They really like that volcano. Everybody who wants to take over Donkey Kong Island does anyway. So this is where Donkey Kong got launched. Just beat the shit out of Nathan Drake's plane. And then here we go! The first level of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Alright, as you can see in the corner, I have two hearts. And this game is notably notorious for being extra hard. So, um, why don't I up, up the ante a bit? Uh, Donkey Kong, uh, why don't you lose a heart for me? That's better! As you'll see in the corner there, I now have one heart instead of two. I like in this little hole right here, you can see Donkey Kong Island frozen over. We're really far away from our home. So, in this, I'm going to do a self-imposed challenge on myself. I'm going to be playing on hard mode. This is my favorite game of all time, so I figured, why not make it a little bit harder for myself? And since I am, I'm going to go inside and get this life. <laughs> so, if you go inside that plane, you get yourself an extra life. I'm going to be showing you where all the Kong letters and all the puzzle pieces are of this game. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I plan on getting it all done. Your first puzzle piece is, you just turn around right away, <laughs> go to the left over here, and there's your first one. In order to play on hard mode, you need to um, beat the entire game on uh, story mode and uh, get through the secret world, which I did. But you can only activate hard mode within that same file. It's a little bit annoying that you won't get to see like the cool little transitions between levels, but I think that's fine. It'll be more worth it to see me actually, for the first time ever, I haven't tried this before, beat the game on hard mode. So, as you can see right now, Donkey Kong is swimming. He's pretty graceful for an ape swimming underwater. If you press A or B, you can do a normal breaststroke, or if you press X or Y, you do a little spin attack. So, this allows him to kill things underwater. Hi, fish. Bye, fish. 
So you can swim, collect banana coins. And on the top left corner, uh, with, uh, unlike uh, Donkey Kong Country's 1, 2, and 3, there is an air meter. So once Donkey Kong breaches the water, the blue meter comes back up. You lose a little heart every time you lose a little bit of air. It's a little bit weird that they decided to include an air meter, but I digress. So let's keep going. So I can only take one hit before I die, so I might be editing out a lot. Also, you'll get these little blue Kong letter, blue uh, Kong letters throughout the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, instead of the normal colored ones, I will also show you where those are. I won't be pointing them out because they're really, really easy to find, honestly. Uh, unless they're like, like in a stupid spot that comes up hard. You can also press X and Y to pound on the ground, which is pretty cool. Also, in hard mode, you can pick whatever character you want to play as, uh, right? As a, <clears throat> as opposed to regular mode where you could only play as Donkey Kong or Funky Kong. So, and in hard mode, since I beat it 100% on funky mode, I could play as Funky Kong if I really wanted to. Like, if there's a really hard level up, really hard level coming up that I just know I cannot beat, I'll probably just use Funky Kong. Oh, my friend, my friend Dubes also played Tropical Freeze. And as you saw right there, that is where the second puzzle piece is. Uh, the puzzle pieces will not be counted because I got a few of them on my first try. I'm not going to go through the game and not get any puzzle pieces just to do it on hard mode. That'd be crazy. It'd be, yeah, it'd be pretty cool if somebody did that, but I don't want to. So first off, you pull this plug and you get yourself these little bananas right here. You follow this guy and he'll give you your third puzzle piece. Also pull this plug and this entire plane comes crashing down and you also get a stump. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this plane that you're inside of is completely fallen over. I like this level because it's just entirely plain aesthetic of crash planes and shit. Jump on this guy, and you'll see in the top left a little secret area. Jump over there, and you'll get your fourth puzzle piece. Now, I know for a fact that I missed this puzzle piece on my first way through. You see that little thing in front of me? It looks indented just because of this guy slamming his face into it. That's not the case. It's actually breakable. Completely breakable. And this is where the next puzzle piece is. I know it says 9 out of 9 there because it was the only puzzle piece I just happened to miss. So these Donkey Kong barrels basically serve no use since I only have one hit. <laughs> I know I'm going to do well in this game because it's my favorite game of all time. A lot of people have trouble because this is a really hard game. I'm 100%ing this with one heart. I'm, I hold no remorse, and I am not excited for the harder levels that are coming up. Uh, in this game, I honest, it's my favorite game of all time, so I honestly believe there are no bad levels, genuinely. A lot of people will say, like, oh, there's that level, but I think this game's really fair. If you, uh, like, grab a ledge and, like, land on it, it's really fair about whether or not you actually get on it. I think it's, I think it's a really fair game. Uh, slam this and get an extra life. I have 96 lives starting off, which is not how much you're supposed to have, but uh, it might be worth it to have, just because of how many lives I'm probably going to lose. I just want to prove that I can beat this game on hard mode 100%. So all we have to do, breach the water right here. So yeah, you use this turtle, you can throw him in the water because you notice this other one's here. A lot of people just like to roll over there and grab it, but it's actually really hard to do. So it's easier to throw the turtle in the water and bounce off him. Uh, you'll notice these banana collecting sections very often throughout the game, and they usually contain something really good, like a puzzle piece. And if you uh, chain attacks together, like you saw me do right there, you'll get special items, which is really neat. Um, since I'm showing you where everything is, I'll either do like two or three levels per episode, but this first one, since it's where we're starting off and the first level is really long, I'm only going to be doing two levels, the first and the second one. Alright, during this one, you'll find your next puzzle piece right there. That would be the sixth one. And coming up is a left and right shooting barrel. You need to get the end right here. And I don't believe there's any more puzzle pieces, but there is an extra life coming right here that I completely missed. Oh my god. If I'm this bad already at timing the barrels, then I just don't know how this is going to end up. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we're introduced to the Snowmads again. The Snowmads just happened to show up right here of all places. I think they decided to get the Kongs as far away from their island to give more of a chance to actually beat them. Which is, again, pretty smart. Because obviously the Kongs were going to try to come back. Maybe they thought of that after they had already made it. So here they are. 
The first uh, enemy you'll find is Tux. They're called Tux because of the penguins and they look like they have tuxedos. That's hilarious. Alright, wait for it. That's my bad completely. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I'll meet you back there. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I might as well say this right now. There's no checkpoints! Also in hard mode, there's zero checkpoints. So if I die, I'll have to do the level entirely over again. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll meet you back when I get back. Alright, now that I'm back to where I was, I actually got on top of this guy like I wanted to be. So I can smash that and you get a banana coin. Banana coins are used as uh, currency in the shops. If I was playing with two people, you'd get a little special ability that I'll explain or I'll explain later. But it's pretty cool. Also, another new enemy. They're all based around like ed around animals you'd find in the snow, like uh, uh, penguins and there's a rabbit. Like we'll be running into more snow-related animals soon. So uh, your next puzzle piece will be right down here. It's a little banana collecting mini game. All you have to do is grab the bananas that they come out. Uh, I, I want to count how many deaths I have, too, when the project's done. It'll probably be a lot. Also, if you get 100 bananas, you get an extra life, and you fill up the little meter in the top left, which is also in correspondence to what I'm going to explain later. Oh, jeez. I am so excited to bring, this guy, to bring this to you guys. This is my absolute favorite game. The other enemy is walruses. And you know that's my favorite animal. You already know. These guys have little sharp sticks, so you have to jump on their heads. Uh, there was nothing in there. That's great. And you jump over here. Jump on this guy. Whoops. Well, I'll be right back again. <laughs> That's two deaths. All right, now that I'm back over here and I'm less stupid this time, I actually jumped on this guy's head. You can grab the ones with helmets and throw them at things. And that's where your G is. I actually don't know what you get for getting these blue letters, so it'll be a little experience for both of us. Also, getting that platform by shooting that, you get this little secret barrel. Which takes you to your first bonus level of the game. Uh, these bonus levels are just like Donkey Kong Country Returns. They just involve collecting bananas. So, if you, as long as you get all the bananas here, you'll be rewarded with a puzzle piece. Nothing different. Everything's the same. Once you complete any of these bonus levels, they're a little laid out differently. But once you get all the bananas, you'll be getting, you'll be rewarded with a puzzle piece every single time. So even if I do fail these, I'm not gonna like keep it, keep it out of the. I'm not gonna just do it, quit a level to do it again, because odds are I will already have that puzzle piece. If I don't, then I will have to redo it because I want to see what happens when I get 100%. So there's your next puzzle piece. So, I'm not going to get hurt by this guy again because I'm not crazy. I'm going to roll through him because he does not have a weapon. Also, this is where you'd be introduced to the Kong Pao. If you get 100 bananas, you can press L and R together, the shoulder buttons, in order to turn everybody into a certain thing. If you have Dixie Kong, you turn them all into extra hits. If you have Diddy Kong, you turn them all into balloons for extra lives. And if you have Cranky Kong, you turn them all into uh, banana coins for use later. So there we go, moving along, and boom, we've killed those guys and we're introduced to the final barrel. But we don't want that just yet, we want to roll jump over here, grab our final puzzle piece. Amazing. So now that we have all the puzzle pieces, I can actually complete this level. So you want to get the DK symbol because you'll get 15, if you do it right, of anything you can imagine. Also I completely screwed it up because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> we'll do it next time. So we got all the Kong letters, and all nine puzzle pieces. So this world is called the Lost Mangroves, which is pretty cool. I also like the loading screen backgrounds. So I turned this green, which means I completed it on hard mode. That's pretty cool. Um, so you'll notice that little punch symbol in the top left corner under Mangrove Cove. That will indicate that I completed it on a hard mode. So, moving on, you will have unlocked the second level. 1-2, Shipwreck Shore. Let's give it a try. But I have, I have to remember every time to select hard mode, otherwise it's stupid. Also, this is the level where they introduce Diddy Kong. So I will be playing as Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong is the, the hardest to play as, so whenever I get the chance, I probably will just always play as Donkey Kong. Unless a really hard level comes up, then I will play as, um, Funky Kong. So you can choose whatever Kong you want to play as. I'm going to be playing as whatever they introduce as. This is your first puzzle piece. Out of how many? Nine. 
So I need to find the rest of the puzzle pieces of this level, and I think I remember where exactly all of them are. So keep in mind that you can swim in this game. And Dick's Diddy Kong has his little jetpack. So if you use his jetpack out of the water, you get a big burst. Yeah, and he got really high there. Oh my god. I don't know, that was just really funny. Can I jump that high? Oh, he can. Uh, if Diddy Kong could jump that high, he can also go all the way up here. And he can jump down and collect this banana coin. So, uh, that basically introduced you to, like, showing you where other things are in levels. So, you want to make sure you check every nook and cranny to find everything, if you are going for 100%, like me, for being crazy. While also only taking one hit. And if you go underneath this ship, you'll see I collected another puzzle piece. So that's two so far. So, as long as I find all nine, I think I'll be fine. This guy is just still crazy. Jump out his head. Uh, hit this and get myself a butt- I thought it was gonna fall. I was like, D wait, did I not collect it? I didn't hear me collect it. Come on. Thank you. Come on, Diddy Kong. Get in the game. Diddy Kong is just big enough to collect things. That was Donkey Kong's main draw in the old games. That he could kill big enemies. And that he was really easy at collecting things because he was so large. Also, to Diddy Kong, I should have showed this off. If you press uh, the B button or the A button again to double jump. I mean, not to double jump. You get a little jetpack, which is pretty cool. Also, if you, uh, I'm not going to go down there just yet, because, uh, you'll see that little flip panel right there. If I go down there now, all the enemies will just respawn. Also, I gotta get on top of that thing, which is why I didn't destroy this crate. Come on. There we go. It went a little down, and up here is the K. Come on, little buddy. Let's jump on you. Slam down here, and then we're introduced to another bonus level. Diddy Kong, like I said before, is a little bit smaller than uh, Donkey Kong, so he's a, so he, it takes him a, he's not as big, and it is harder for him to collect bananas. But he does have his jetpack, which could save you out of a little situation if you want to. Unfor uh, I wish the jetpack underwater killed enemies, but it doesn't. You'll just ram into them and die at high speeds, so you just need to be really careful when it comes to that. Uh, did I get all the bananas? Not yet. Three, two, one. Oh, would you look at that? I beat it anyway. Wait, was that an actual puzzle piece I needed? It wasn't. Oh my god. I must have failed that on my first try. Okay, that's another puzzle piece for you. So, as you can probably guess, we can go in the water right here. And going over here, there's a big banana bunch, which is pretty cool. It gave me just enough to get above 100. Also, if these sharks see you, which this one's probably going to, because I'm directly below him, I'm trying to hide in the brush. Come on, Diddy Kong, use your jetpack underwater. You get a little boost. So if you ever feel yourself about to get caught, you can just use that. Also, the O's right here, so I need to get that. These sharks breach the water, so I actually just need to wait for them. It's better to be safe than sorry, because if I'm going too fast and get hit by one of these sharks, I will instantly die, which is not a good thing. Also, if you go in there, you get the Banana Man. And the Banana Man will grant you... A big banana bunch. I thought it'd be a puzzle piece. Whoops. Oh, I know where the puzzle piece is. Just jump off these guys' heads. Uh, three in a Oh, yeah. I, I meant to talk about consecutive hits. I talked about them before. Here's another puzzle piece. Uh, if you jump on three enemies in a row, you get a, a banana coin. If you jump on more than three enemies in a row consecutively, you get uh, more banana coins. If you jump on eight enemies in a row and more consecutively, you get lives, which is pretty damn good. So, I, it doesn't matter if I do get a game over. What the big draw is, is me, like, screwing up in general. Also, if you hit that, a big thing comes down there. Which is good, because you want this guy. And throw him at that fin. And then you get yourself another puzzle piece. Also, I'm gonna go underwater here. I think there might be some bananas. There are indeed some bananas. But I don't need extra lives, and I don't need Kong Pao. Actually, in hindsight, it probably isn't worth it for me to collect bananas. Unless I really do need extra lives. Let's see what's down here. I'm still in the brush over here. Mr. Shark sees me. His eyes get big, which is terrifying. He, like, knows you're there. I don't think he'll go outside of his, like, zone, though. So you don't really have to worry about it that much. Alright, wait for this guy to get out of the way. I like how they have little monocles. And you can grab this. And then Big Banana again. Hmm. I wonder if I could stand in the middle here and not get hit. 
Also, if you hit open those things, you don't have to collect whatever comes out of them. They just automatically get to give it to you. I'm gonna be. I I, I uh, I'm usually not this careful in this game, because it's usually not worth it. Uh, because you have like four hits, and it's uh, it's entirely not worth it unless you're in like a stage where it doesn't matter that much. Collect all these bananas over here to get another puzzle piece. Also, you can bust open these crates by uh, dashing into them. Uh, let's actually test this. Let's actually test my uh, jetpack and see if I uh, break this open. Nah, I think I did use my jetpack there, but nothing happened. If you break open, uh, if you break open a barrel underwater, that's the same as getting bubbles too, which is pretty damn good. So you'll also get the health. I mean, you'll also get the air form, which makes sense. You don't want to take a hit. And it's the same as getting hearts. If you bust open those barrels normally, you get the hearts for them. Which is pretty cool. You don't get anything special for being up here. I just like the banana coins. <laughs> I just like showing off things. See, nothing else spawns. Yeah, which is fine. Just keep dashing into this guy and he will die. Come and breach the water here with an attack. And you'll break through these barrels no problem. Here's Mr. Sharkman. Let's see what's in here. It's a banana coin. I, th I like how Diddy Kong can collect those there, even though it doesn't look like he should be able to. Also, if you attack down here, where the shark is, you get another puzzle piece. Alright, now introduced in this game specifically, rather than returns, is something new. It's secret exits. If you had Dixie Kong, uh, Diddy Kong cannot do it because he only gets bursts. Diddy Kong could swim through those currents completely. Along with Funky Kong, too. Funky Kong's just really overpowered. <laughs> uh, so if you have them, you'll get to go through that, and it'll introduce you to a new level. I'll show you the secret exit at the end of this episode. So, as we start, if we hit that, we'll start here. And uh, something I know I didn't collect last time is this puzzle piece. Where all you have to do is land on, land on all these bananas. Yes! Woo! And you get the puzzle piece! That was too lucky. Not even gonna lie. Also, right here, you'll see this guy. And if you stand up straight, you will get hit. Alright. Moving on. If you go over here, you get a bunch of bananas. Uh, since I got 9 out of 9, I'm pretty sure that was the last puzzle piece I needed to show you. If not, please let me know, because I did not count them. <laughs> I probably should have done that thing I was talking about, where I'd be crazy to do it. But I didn't want to. <laughs> and even then, we uh, bounce up here and get the DK and get 15 bananas. You can get anything from banana coins to lives to bananas. I think that's it, actually. And we got all the Kong letters and 9 out of 9. So for right now, I'm just going to be playing as Dixie Kong for eh, approximately a few... the. Uh, Maybe like two minutes so I can show you where the secret exit is. So I'm just gonna play. I'm just going to. Um, I'm not gonna play the level normally. I'm gonna still do hard mode, but I'm gonna pick uh, Dixie. So I can show you where that secret exit is and how to get to it. I already showed you where it is, but I'll meet you right back there when I get to it. Alright, now that we're back here in the same spot, all you have to do is Dixie Kong is come down here and hold the A button. That'll allow her to swim using her hair, and her hair spins fast enough to break through these currents. So just keep on swimming, you'll get these little bubbles floating at you so you don't lose another hit point. There's nothing down here except for that propeller, which will kill you by the way, I've tried! <laughs> I've tried stupidly, and you'll get a different end barrel. And then boom, 15 bananas again. So from beating that level, notice I barely got anything. Oh, I... I got the Kong letters? Maybe it would say that anyway, because I, you know, did before. So coming back through Lost Mangroves and playing as Donkey Kong, you will have unlocked uh, 1A instead of 1-3, which is directly up here. So I will be starting 1-3 next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I'm excited to bring my favorite game of all time to you. Thank you all so very much for watching. Herp Derp, I am Walrus, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.